Can folks read this? Probably. So have, how many folks here have heard of uh, Matthew Godbolt's uh, Compiler Explorer? That's not enough hands. So you should look up Compiler Explorer. It's amazing. This is a web page. I'm just kind of showing it to you. So this is a cool little web page. It lets you do stuff like look at what happens when you compile code. So let's look what happens if we compile code with, you know, normal looking compiler. Oh, it's being annoying to me. So here we've got Clang compiling our code. It has a very fancy UI, as you can tell. Here we go. Now we have big fonts. All right, so this is, this, is, this is pretty nice. We're compiling this lovely code. How many folks here think that the optimizer should be able to remove this code? Because I really think it should. So if we just look at, at Clang, we can look at its code. We still have a lot of calls to assembly here. This doesn't look like a very optimized function. All I'm doing is pushing back one, two, three, and four into a vector and summing it, right? The optimizer should fix this. Why isn't it doing that? Well. That's, that's a great question. This is actually a question that I asked about four years ago, and I've actually been trying to make the optimizer optimize this code for the past four years. It still doesn't. And this isn't just Clang. Like, if I switch and I go to GCC, because the Compiler Explorer is amazing and lets me look at other compilers, here is the latest GCC 7, and this also looks kind of crazy. So we have a bunch of code here, and a bunch more code, and then still more code, and, and now we've allocated more memory, and then we keep copying, and we, oh goodness, and now we're, now we're it, this is insane. So I don't understand this, because the answer here should be one, plus two, plus three, plus four. What, who knows what this function returns? Does anyone? What does this return? Come on. Right, okay. So, so you would expect this to do something like return that, right? But no. Okay, so maybe we can fix this. Let's, let's go back to uh, Clang here. See if we can fix this. So, so the first thing I thought to fix this is like, okay, what is it actually doing? Um, well, we're, we're, we're optimizing a bunch of stuff. I can scroll down. If I look at all this giant piles of code, I notice something pretty, pretty interesting. I notice this uh, GCC exception table, and I notice a bunch of code kind of handle uh, exceptions. And I'm like, well, I don't care about exceptions. I don't need correctness. This is fine. I want my code to be fast. So I turn off exceptions. When I turn off exceptions, things get a little bit better. But it still looks kind of terrible because I'm still calling a bunch of functions. It doesn't make any sense. Um, and so I think like, well, okay, what's actually going on? So I tried this very amazing thing. I just comment out one of these pushbacks. And when I do that, suddenly the code starts to look a little bit better. But I'm still, you know, I'm still calling a bunch of things. It doesn't seem to help. So I tried, well, maybe I can use a different standard library. I mean, uh, Clang and LLVM have their own standard library, which you can use. So I can try that. And like it still is calling all this stuff, and it keeps calling stuff. Like it, it doesn't seem to make sense. No matter what I do, it just keeps like not being optimized code. So it's supposed to be at least a little bit more optimized here. This is the great part about a lightning talk with live demo. And so, so one of the amazing things here is, is I wanted to kind of understand what was going on. So let's actually look at the real code. So let's, let's, let's zoom in and, and try and figure this out. So here we have you know, my, my, my example. And, and maybe, I can, maybe I can figure out how to do this. So if I take this example and I compile it with Clang, I get this like, horrible pile of code, which we're going to look at. And it, and it just looks really big. But if I add this magical thing here, v.reserve4. So I haven't really changed the behavior of this program, right? I'm doing something really boring. I, I have exactly four pushbacks. But if I explicitly do v.reserve and I compile it with Clang again, suddenly this is going to get optimized, which is kind of magical. Ah, helps if I drive the keyboard correctly. All right, and so now, all of a sudden, things are starting to look better. I'm like, oh, OK, hold on. I don't have this call here. Let's go back to the Compiler Explorer, see what this does over here. So maybe, maybe I don't need to comment this stuff out. I need to reserve better. OK. Maybe that'll finally fix my code. And I, I do it. Well, I have to have a semicolon. So I, I compile this. And I think, like, oh, finally, it's not calling. Oh, it's still calling pushback. 
But this starts to be interesting. So it's interesting to actually read the code here, all right? You see that it's actually like pushing four around, right? It's actually dealing with the number four right before it calls pushback. So maybe, maybe it really is just one too many pushbacks. And then all of a sudden, like all the code goes away and all I have is the code I expected, actually computing the sum. So why is this one pushback a problem, right? Well, it's pretty obvious what the answer of that, right? The only possible explanation is that the inliner inlines exactly three functions, but four is right out, okay? <laughs> so this leaves a call, but this doesn't. It's mysterious, right? But we can actually look into the compiler to understand this. So let's look at, let's look at what the compiler is actually doing here when it leaves this function call in place. So I want you to look at this thing. How many folks here attended my keynote last year right here? Lots of folks, how many folks have seen it? All right, so you might remember that LLVM's IR is where the optimizer runs. And if you look at LLVM's IR, it has this little tiny thing here where it branches on true. Now this is the optimized code and I have a branch on a constant. It's like the optimizer just like went out to lunch and then came back. And I've spent four years trying to fix this code. I mean, to be fair, when I started, it wouldn't even fix the, do this for one. And other people have fixed a bunch of things, and now it gets three, but not four. Four is right out. But it does leave this true in here, which is really frustrating. And in fact, if I just take this code and I run the optimizer over it a little bit harder, which is, I have to run correctly. So if I just run the code over this a little bit harder, it does something pretty amazing. So I'm actually reaching into LLVM now, and I'm gonna run exactly, oh, come on. I'm gonna run exactly two uh, passes, but I'm gonna run them in a kind of interesting order. So I just run these two optimization passes a few times. You see something amazing. Let me get up here. We're going to hopefully, 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 the live demo works. Nope, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. And then run the normal optimization pass pipeline again. There we go. I get what I expected. 10. So all you have to do is keep optimizing and this all goes away, but somehow LLVM can't figure this out. And so this turns out to be a really hard problem. Uh, the, the interesting thing is, if you look at what's happening here, right before we have this branch, we're actually setting up the size of the vector. Okay, and so when we store this three into the vector, right, we, we then store a size into it and we come down here and we actually need to know what the size is in order to choose whether or not we store four directly because we already have capacity or whether we have to call this giant slow path pushback. And this is really, really hard for the optimizer to figure out because we have memory from a class, we have function calls for this pushback slow path, and we have data flow and we're trying to handle all three of them all at the same time. And the compiler essentially tries once, it tries twice, it tries a third time, but unfortunately, the number of inlining is still three and it can't handle the fourth one. That's it. <laughs>